Oh. You better have no fucking cut that out. <laughs> you are gonna start with an Aqua song because I said so. I think it'd be funnier if like it just starts after you like saying, "Don't cut that out." <laughs> oh wow! Well, oh wow! Well. <laughs> okay, we're come on, Barbie. Let's go party. Ah ah ah! Yeah. Where's uh... the? Uh... Oh shit! He locked me out. Motherfucker. Oh, that this one's a good one. Oh yeah. It was loading when you shot Oh god, oh god, no, 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 I'm sorry. Oh, th guess what, I'm not that sorry. There we go. This guy's a little tough. Oh! Oh, because you were fucking from behind. <laughs> it's not... too late now to say. That's not the way you want to say that. Because <laughs> you were fucking from behind. Uh, yeah, and then oh. I sang a Justin Bieber song, so... I mean, it makes sense. I, I don't think I've ever heard, like, one of his songs. You heard it, it's just you're blocking mentally. <laughs> My mom was like, "Nah, we gotta, we gotta preserve something." Well, I've been like, I've been listening to a lot of like the '40s radio because there's this radio show that I spoke a couple episodes ago called The Kane Show, mm -hmm. where they're fucking, they're amazing. They do a thing called the the War of the Roses, where yeah. if you have you seen that? No, I don't. Basically, I don't listen to the radio. Basically, if you think your spouse is cheating on you, you call. And you send an email basically and tell them, oh, I think my spouse is cheating on me. Okay. So you call and you tell the story and then they call the person and they pretend they're a flower shop saying, oh, we have promotion, you know, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And you are the, the winner of our sweepstakes. And they were like, oh, but I didn't apply for anything. Well, you know, we buy like local subscription lists and blah, blah, blah. And, and that's how we got people's address. But you were a winner of, of, a, of a dozen roses and a, a romantic massage. And if they don't pick their, <laughs> their spouse, They'll tell you basically the name of the person they're cheating with. Oh. And they catch a bunch of them. And th sometimes it's hilarious how the guys backtrack. Like, no, 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 baby, baby. I'm, I, I, didn't I say your name? I thought I said your name. I was like, no, you didn't. You, you're a dumbass. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh. oh, shit. What the fuck was that? Fuck. I gotta get out of here. I'm sorry. I'm not cheating on you, I swear. These roses were for you. Fuck. Yeah. So the the TV, that, that it's fucking awesome. That show is awesome. And then there's Fuck. A, I missed. There you go. You're dead. Okay. Yeah. And then I was cheating on you, bitch. They have another. <laughs> you got fat. <laughs> really fucking fat. <laughs> and um, they have another one called Ghosted, where basically when you date somebody and then they ghost, they go ghost. Okay. And then they contact the person and they basically ask them why did you go ghost on them and they explain sometimes it's because of a good reason sometimes the people is just a bitch They're like she was fucking insane man she was asking about how much money I make what kind of car I drive yeah no. and we just started going out on the first date yeah no like yeah, if someone's it, asking me like how much you make what's your address like uh, yeah. we just met <laughs> exactly on the first date actually that was yeah we, we just met like if so you're like yeah. where, what were you like around what area do you live I understand that you want to know if yeah. I'm fucking worth like traveling I ask myself that question a lot. But nah, fuck that. I ain't give you my address. I don't know what kind of crazy person you are. No, she was like basically like, oh, what, oh. Where, what are you for a living? Uh, how much money you make? What car do you drive? And stuff like that. And he was like, why are you asking that? Well, because, you know, I want to know if you can support kids. Mm. Like, it's our first fucking date. Mm. And she was like, well, you know, I understand that if you want to date somebody with a future purpose. Yeah. You want to put that out there, but it's better ways to ask that yeah like I, I just want to make sure that like I'm not dating a loser <laughs> maybe yeah. we're better but like saying that I get it what are these things for I think they keep basically the demons oh. alive around you there we go I think I'm supposed to kill them yeah you are well not not the demons that's obvious but I mean like the, those things yeah you're supposed to do it uh, but that war of roses you know what what they're taking that from right the no. name, the the name War of Ro Ooh, get fucked. The that name movie? War of Roses? No, it's a. Uh, Throw a grenade over there, dude. It's an actual thing. I fucking missed. You missed. Fuck. It's okay though. I got it. There you go. See. I got it. It's fine. The War of Roses was an event that happened. That was an actual war between two families, uh, the Lancasters and the Yorks. Oh, okay. And yes, that's yes, basically yes. what a song of ice and fire, or Game of Thrones, is based off of. Nope. Oh God, Jesus! Holy fuck, that was a good punch. Yeah, that's right. Sit down. 
Sit down. Sit your ass down, motherfucker. There we go. So oh, yeah. that's fucked. <laughs> that's so fucked it's, up. it's a pretty good show. Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? No, oh, get that shit out of here. Get that baby shit out of here. I don't think that shit does anything to him, right? Oh, God. This will. See? That did a lot. Oh, that <laughs> killed him right away. What the fuck? Yeah. It's a one hit. That's all you need. That's all you need. That's all you need, baby. Oh, let me upgrade my weapons. This time the love master. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, they don't know what baby. we're talking about. <laughs> Explosive shot. No. Let me let me see what the plasma can. Oh, never mind. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Um, what am I doing? What am I doing here? Oh, With this fuck. thing. Pittsburgh scored again. Fuck. It's four two, so we're good. Yeah. Oh well, we should probably explain what that is. <laughs> it's a lightning versus. It's a hockey game. <laughs> yeah, it's a hockey game. Tampa Bay Lightning versus the P Pittsburgh Penguins. Yeah, they're not good. And it's game four. And Tampa Bay Lightning, which is what we like. Because we're from um, Tampa. Yeah, we are losing the series 2-1. So right now we're winning 4-2, which ties the series. Ooh. And if you're a nerd, you really don't care about this shit. But <laughs> I'm glad that nerds now watch sports. Because somebody's got to take the stats out of the game, right? <laughs> That's fucked up. But true. Eh. I love stats. You ain't a nerd. So I play fantasy sports. Yeah. That's the thing, like, that's the thing that I don't get, right? Like, it's it's dumb to like Dungeons and Dragons, right? But yeah. fantasy sport is not. Like, they're the same fucking thing. It's sports they're, with math. That's what it is. It's it's Dungeons and Dragons with sports. That's all it is. Not really. Basically, it's luck. No, but well, Dungeons and Dragons luck too. No, but you make decisions in Dungeons and Dragons. Here you don't. You pick your players. That's all you do. And well, then, let, let me rephrase that. It's like like playing an RPG. Yeah, that's you know. Although like nowadays it's kind of okay because you're you can play like video games and not be consider. And where am I supposed to go? Well, but, but, oh but, God, what <laughs> he the found fuck me. Is wrong with this? Well, I found him. Whoa, 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 whoa! Relax. I'm just trying to kill you. Relax, motherfucker. God hates you. There we yeah, go. He's a demon, so yeah, I'm pretty sure. Well, I guess he didn't fucking even drop anything. Hmm. Thought I heard something. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah. Where am I supposed to go now? They keep coming out like the same way. Am I supposed to go here somewhere? Ah. Oh! Oh, you see that? Yep. Awesome. He died. That's fucking metal. No, I'm alive. There we go. I think I'm, I'm supposed you? to just destroy the. Oh god. Whoa, 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 whoa. There I we thought go. somebody was hitting you while you were destroying that. Uh, no, they just spawned. Jesus. Yeah, ah, fuck! <laughs> fucking... Okay, we got it. We had pretty good luck with grenades at the beginning, and now we have bad luck. We're, like, making up for it, I guess. <laughs> oh, there we go. God, this game is awesome. Yeah, this game is so metal. Oh! There we go. Destroy. Oh. I'm running low on ammo. Motherfuckers, they scored again. 4-3. Oh, that's that's not good. <laughs> yeah. That's really not good. Trying to check how many minutes we got left before we get raped. I like how you're totally on your phone while recording an episode. Exactly. That's, that's cool. No, thank you. That's called being a fan. <laughs> you're supposed to be entertaining people. We got well, six I minutes murder. before we fucking destroy. Oh yeah. Oh, oh go. that's gonna hurt his coccyx. <laughs> there we go. Okay. I thought oh, that I oh, thought that gun didn't actually hit him, just kinda stun him. No, it fucks him up. I guess it does kill him. It fucks him up hard. There we go. Well, everything that's fucking hard I like. Except for like no, I'm, whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yes, I did. Guns. You murder. know what I mean, too. Okay. So that was... Oh, the Walking Dead. <laughs> why did you waste a grenade <laughs> on this loser? That was a mistake. I, I, I don't know why I hit... I don't know why I hit that. Mm, come on. Nope. There we go. See, uh, Let's save some bullets. Oh. Bullets are more important than you. Yeah, like, you're worthless. <laughs> you're basically nothing. 
there You're we go. a walker. Basically, Doom guy can handle walkers. Yeah, he can. That's the thing, like, Walking Dead, like, if you, if they got, like, Doom Doom level armor, everyone will be fine. Yeah. You know? Like, Question. no, no summit, what? Have you been watching Fear the Walking Dead? No. I haven't either. Uh, the, the, la the, the Walking Dead, the, the Walking Dead pissed me off so much that, like, I'm, I'm glad it's on break right now. Like the, I can't the, wait for it to come back. I don't know, man. Like, it just it pissed me off a lot. You know, the the way the last season ended, with uh, I guess spoilers again if you haven't kept up with Walking Dead. Yeah. But that's your own fucking fault. Um, the way the last season ended pissed me off way too much to to care anymore. Like I still like it and I'll, I'll watch it when it comes up, but I just not I'm not excited. I'm just not excited at all. Oh, uh, I am. Like that that aggravated me, because they only had to do one thing right and they fucked it up. For ratings, and that's it. Uh, oh, they kind of have to keep ratings to keep the show going. So yeah. But like, the thing like, is that like they're one of the most watched TV shows ever. So yeah, they don't they need more it. Wa they have more watchers than than Game of Thrones. Yeah, absolutely. Well, or probably like. Um, no, they did. They did have more oh, people damn. watching the Game of Thrones. Well, I guess it makes sense because it's cheaper to yeah. have AMC than HBO. So yeah. Um. But like they don't, you know, they don't need those ratings, so they just sacrifice the narrative and pissing off a bunch of fans, like hardcore fans. Mm, no, they do the need ratings. ratings. They always need ratings. That's the thing. Like I've been watching. Have you heard about the new Louis show? God, damn it! I fucked up. No, go ahead. Lu uh, no. Louis C.K. came out with a show and he paid it out of pocket for everything. What so you mean, he, Louis? Louis, yeah, and Louis C.K. and and he basically it's not a Louis show. It's the name is Horace and Pete. That's the name of the show. Oh, okay. Another one. It's a weird ass fucking show. Let me tell <laughs> you. It is amazingly real. Mm -hmm. It's dark as a motherfucker. It's not funny at all. It's not a oh, funny show. Oh, okay. It's dark. <laughs> it's just a dark fucking show. Okay. It has comedic moments in it. But. Yeah, because Louis is, is funny. It's, it's dark. Yeah. But no, it's no, funny. But this is, this is just too fucking dark. It's basically about a family that owns a bar. Yeah. And the bar is called Horace and Pete's. And basically, everybody in the family has kids named Horace and Pete, and it's been going down from generation to generation. Yeah. And oh, then, then it's this couple, Horace and Pete, they have it, and they're about to lose the bar for the first time in 100 years. Mm hmm And I don't know. I can't really explain it, but, dude, it, it, the it's acting <laughs> in it. It's him, Steve Buscemi. Okay. Well, yeah, that's weird. Yeah. It's, it is an amazing cast. Alan Alda. I don't know if you know who Alan Alda is. No. He plays uh, Uncle Pete. And? And the, I forget her name. Do you know Nurse Jackie? The show Nurse Jackie? No. Uh, it, won, <laughs> it, it won a bunch of Emmys. Okay. And she's the sister. So basically, it's a bunch of Emmy award-winning people doing a show with Louis C.K. Okay. Who is also an award-winning yeah. Emmy actor. He's amazing. <laughs> so He's amazing everything he fucking does, which is crazy. Yeah, the show is amazing. And the, the thing is, like, the show, he made it so weird. Like, the first episode is, like, over 60 minutes. The second episode is, like, 30. Then the third episode is 43. Some shit like that. So, no, he, he didn't want to compromise anything, so he financed it completely himself. So, oh, he lost, he lost okay. a couple million dollars. <laughs> but then he, he put it out, and each episode, I think the first episode is five bucks, the second episode is two, and then every episode is three bucks. So, basically, the whole season is 31 cents, th 31 31 dollars. Okay. So, it's not bad. But and is it like actually good? Like it's good. Critically, TV. huh? Like critically, is it yeah, good? Yeah, I think you'll win a couple Emmys. That's surprising. I have it, so you can watch it, and if you like it, you can buy the episode. I have. I can. I show you the first episode. I'll let you download it before I go. Okay. They can watch it. It's weird, so be be really open minded. And if you can, <laughs> go to the WTF podcast, the Mark Maron podcast. Yeah. Look up the episode where Louis C.K. is in it and listen to it. Because the way that he explained it, he's basically said there's a few scenes where he starts crying. And then he's like, I did not script that I had to cry. I just cried because I was so into the, the acting of the scene that Holy it made me cry. Shit. So shit like that, you know, you're like, wow, really that, you know, that much? But yeah, he, he was amazing in it. So, okay, so he's also in it. He's not only like yeah, a writer. He, he's one, he didn't want to be in it. Then he did want to be in it. And then he didn't. And, you know, he ended up being in it. Yeah. But it was awesome. What the fuck's going on? And I forgot why I went there. <laughs> I don't remember what we were talking about before. Me neither. Don't worry. It's okay. We have to kill demons. What are we talking That's about? 
some TV shows or something like that. Oh, Walking Dead and how it got pissed me oh, off. Oh, yeah, yeah, The Walking Dead. So basically he said that, that. That's why I went there. Because he basically talked about that. He said that the only reason why people change stories from books and the only reason why people keep character alive for more than they need to is because of fucking ratings. You can't have a TV show where you kill everybody. The only people that do that is Game of Thrones because they have 25,000 characters. And in I each episode, know. you present three more. So that's the only reason why you keep a character around because then that arc is gone. So I think that's the problem that they've killed in the past couple of seasons. They've killed a couple of major characters. And they know they got to kill another m main character at the end of the season. You know somebody's going to die. Oh, fuck. Holy shit. So, oh, my God. Yep. No, I keep talking. It's fine. Yeah, so the thing is, that's the thing. That's why he says that you got to kind of have to keep it. Ah. Within the normal range of a TV show, you um, can't go really fucking crazy and killing everyone. See, I don't know about that because like Game of Thrones, like they do that because the books do that. Like the books have all this fucked up shit that happens and they follow it pretty closely. And actually, in the TV show, they uh, oh, I love doing that. <laughs> yeah. And the, the TV show, they uh, they kill more people than in the books, since the TV show is in a in a more like advanced state. Yeah, in the books. So I don't know. I, I just well, if you think about it, if they kill people in The Walking Dead at the same rate that they kill people in in Game of Thrones, we're fucked. But they, we would have we would have ended already. No, not really, because they do. I mean, like, it's just the last couple of seasons they they've killed like people who are not important. Like, uh, what was his name? Because of what uh, I every, told you, every, everybody hate, hates Chris. What was it? the the the? His oh yeah, that kid. Yeah. Yeah, like he could have had a story arc, but they decided no. Well, because they knew they were gonna kill the other girl, and that was basically his love interest. So they just got rid of him too. But that could have made sense. That could have made a story. Like they could have made a story about that. Is what I'm saying. And I feel like them not doing that is a way, like a a, uh, a way for them to wussy out of it. You know what I mean? I think it's just they want to keep people around. Because who, who are they going to kill that the people are not going to go fucking mad? I mean, like, if they can kill Daryl, like, people are not going to stop watching because someone dies. And people might. Like, that's, that's the problem. T to me, that's a very old way of thinking about TV, and TV is not that way anymore. Which is, like, one of the problems with TV. Oh, God. You are not easy on the ice. Olivia is Alpha 4 0 2 1. Okay. So she's the one that's guilty, apparently? I think so. Well, yeah, she released, like, a bunch of demons, I think. Are you calling them? What the fuck? She is trying to tear open the portal between our world oh. and theirs. She's trying to fuck things up even more. What a yeah. bitch. Uh oh. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Shit got real. Oh my god. This game is really good, and I did not expect it to be this good. Let's save anyway. Okay. Log power grid. What the fuck? She walking away. There's something. Boss. Yeah, there's something, like, really creepy about this. Yeah. Even, like, not scary, just, like, disturbing. Okay, ne next episode. Next episode. <laughs> What the fuck is going on? 